I think this is the most comfortable hardtail bridge I have ever played. <laughs> What is going on today guys? My name is Jay, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time to the channel, uh, what I do here is we generally talk about guitars, guitar gear, and all things metal music related. So today, I'm coming at you with another guitar review, another Schecter in fact, and I've basically been going over the entire Schecter lineup because everything this manufacturer comes out with is just amazing, and this guitar here is no exception. <laughs> So what do we have here? This is the Sun Valley Super Shredder Exotic HT. This guitar, you know, upon first look, it kind of gives you that classic 80s California souped up Strat vibes. And I can tell you that that's exactly what this is meant to be. <laughs> Now exotic, let's talk about that too. I think that refers basically to the materials used, the electronics, the hardware, all that stuff. So nothing is typical on this guitar. First off, specs, let's go over it. You've got a black Limba body. It's a one piece body, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. Usually guitars that I've seen have two or three pieces or more. Uh, just one solid piece of wood and it is beautiful. The neck is one piece solid Wenge, gorgeous. And the fingerboard, of course, is ebony. This has a compound radius of 12 to 16 inches, which is very nice, kind of like what Charvel does. Jackson does that as well. Now, this neck has 24 extra jumbo stainless steel frets with absolutely flawless fret and treatment. Gorgeous. The neck itself is Schecter's thin C-shaped neck, not to be confused with their ultra-thin C-shaped neck, which is a lot thinner. This is more akin to your typical modern C-shape that Fender, Charvel, or somebody else might come out with. It is very comfortable and just not too thin, so I think you'd like that. Maybe you won't. Who knows? As far as electronics, we have your typical master volume, master tone, five-way selector switch, and of course, Schecter's own proprietary pickups here. We've got the uh, Sunset Strip and the Pasadena. These humbuckers sound great. I have them in another guitar as well. I love these things. They're passive pickups. They sound amazing. You have a Tusk Nut, Graftech XL Tusk Nut Black. You have Schecter branded locking tuners. Uh, you may have seen the video I did recently talking about Schecter's locking tuners. I had an issue with those on another guitar. These on this guitar work perfectly. Now this guitar is made in the South Korean factory and everything that I've seen that comes from that factory is top-notch premium quality. This guitar is definitely no exception and for the price, you know, this guitar currently retails for $1,250 here in the U.S. For that price, you know, $1,000, $1,200 on up, you really expect to have like premium components and high quality as far as QC is concerned. Uh, this guitar has just been a blast to play. It's just your workhorse, man. This thing is just ready to shred. It's good to go. Uh, it comes shipped with 9 to 46 Ernie Ball strings, which I thought was a little odd. That's kind of a weird mix match set. 
but I swapped them out for 10 to 46, put it in dad gad because I'm on this whole dad gad kick recently and it sounds great. <laughs> really is interesting and I, I suppose exotic with this guitar is that hardtail bridge. That's a hip shot bridge, but it's their Ibby bridge, six string Ibby bridge. And uh, as you can see, it's got these wide flares on the sides. It's kind of like wings off to the side. I think it helps to make it a little more stable. Maybe it resonates better because it's more substantial piece of metal. And uh, But quite honestly, it's just the most comfortable bridge I have ever played. I mean, as far as palm mutes go, it's almost like your palm is just resting on, I don't know what, a cloud. It's so comfortable. I don't know how else to put it. But I love this bridge so much, and it's a string through bridge. I would like to put this bridge on some other guitars that I have that are hardtails because it just looks great. It's so comfortable, and it's something new. It's something different. You know, you don't see that all the time. So I think that's part of what makes this guitar exotic. It's the woods used. Uh, it's got, you know, locking tuners, which wasn't a thing back in the 80s. This guitar is just a hot-rotted super strat, and it's ready to go. But what's nice about it, it still gives you that 70s, 80s vibe, you know, as far as the looks are concerned. With the black limbo wood, it makes it kind of heavy. This guitar weighs exactly 8.5 pounds. Not too heavy, but I mean, it's substantial weight, you know. If you're going to be rocking it on stage for a few hours, you're going to feel it. Um, but it's comfortable. I mean, all of their guitars are really nice, but this thing is so extremely ergonomic and smooth and comfortable. It's basically what you wish your Fender Strat would be, have been back in the 70s or 80s without having to uh, aftermarket everything on it. Now, because this guitar is on loan from Zounds.com, they've been so gracious as to loan me this so I can check it out for you guys here today. Uh, I did leave the film on top of the pick guard there so that's why it's not as shiny as it could be because you know I still want to keep it in that kind of brand new condition <laughs>
So if you've enjoyed this demo slash review of this guitar and you want to get a little more information about it, I've got a link right down below to zounds.com where they have this guitar in stock. Clicking on those links does help to support the channel if you're not aware, as well as hitting the like button, the notification bell, all that stuff. Leave a comment down below too because we need to feed the algorithm. Links down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See ya!